Hi, I'm Karen, and today's quick tip is how to bring purchased items, like purchased apps, back to your iPad if maybe you've received a new iPad or if you've deleted, excuse me, apps so that um, you can free up some space on your iPad. How do I get them back and do I have to pay for them again? The answer is no, you don't have to pay for them again. So I'm going to take you over to my iPad real quick and the way that I bring back items is by simply going to my app store if I'm on my iPad and I happen to need something right away. I can do one of two things. I can go to purchased and find a list of all of the apps that I've ever purchased. You'll have all of the apps or not on this iPad and you can go ahead and search through and find some of those apps that you might want to bring back onto your iPad. What you'll notice is that little cloud with the arrow down button and if I need that app I would just tap on that and it'll begin downloading back to my iPad. So really easy if I need to delete something to free up space and bring an app back onto my iPad. Another way that you can do this is by going to the App Store and if you find the featured area here you could also do a search, a quick search. So, for instance, I did a search for the app I Write Words, click search. And if you've already purchased this app, you're going to notice that there's, an, again, that cloud with the arrow so you can bring it back down to your iPad. So, I'm going to go ahead and bring that back down. So, there's two ways, like I said, to find apps that you've already purchased and bring them back to your iPad without any kind of fuss. So, I tend to use purchase just to kind of go through and see what apps I've downloaded and maybe I forgot. And then I use that search feature to find an app that I specifically want right now to utilize with my students. So, I hope you enjoyed today's quick tip, how to bring back purchase apps onto your iPad.